today. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Sam Darnold and the Carolina Panthers versus Cam Newton and the New England Patriots. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the New England Patriots. It's a rematch of the 2004 Super Bowl. The Pats and Panthers are underway. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out come the New England Patriots, led by their 6'5 veteran quarterback, Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile? That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game, and his team is having a whole lot of fun because when they score a touchdown, some fans going to get lucky and get the game ball. Newton on first down. Open man is born. And he lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. So now here are the Panthers with excellent field position to start off. As we take a peek at Sam Darnold, the former USC Trojan and third pick in the 2018 draft. And so often when you've stolen a possession as they just did there. On the first play. First play, picking up the fumble. The natural inclination is to attack, go after them big. Sometimes what you just want to do is put the ball in the hands of one of your best players and one of their favorite plays and establish your dominance that way. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Jeremy Chin there defensively. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? On 
second and 15 now. Newton, the connection here with Nelson Aguilar. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. From the gun, here's Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. The Patriots send out their punter. Back deep for the Panthers, D.J. Moore. yard punt there with no return and the Panthers will take over now first and ten here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A shotgun snap for Darnold. That's caught. It's Dan Arnold, the tight end. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Darnold finds the open target, Arnold. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. So first and ten now from the 30. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. And he's got his target. That's Moore. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So that'll get them the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They go quickly here out to Moore. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. To throw is Darnold. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you've got to make a decision as your defensive as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback? Or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump them off of their routes, chip away at their timing so things aren't as precise as they've been so far in this game. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. To the air again, Darnold over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is starting. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Mm, interesting. Time to find out. Here we go now on first and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey, and he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight-ahead power, and they got it done. Extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Let's 
Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Got the connection here to Bourne. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Out of the gun, Newton. On the left side, a catch by White. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. From the 50, Newton. Escaping the pressure right. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. Now Newton on first down. Forced out to his left. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier in this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. First down throw for Newton. Quick hitter here, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. 
Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So they get pushed back to the 11 and here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Newton eluding the pressure right. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Snap for Newton. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. <laughs> on first down, Darnold. Flush to his right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Second down and three. And Darnold going to keep this himself. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Let's go, let's bring it. 
Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Wide open receiver complete. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. This is McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Matt Judon there to bring him down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's a throw out wide to Anderson. And he's taken down inside the 30. 16 yards, a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. First down, it's Darnold. That's to McCaffrey, complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pick up. First down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Darnold from the red zone now. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Now Joey Sly for the point after. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive in total eight plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. On the return, it's Taylor. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25.
New England trotting into place on offense. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. And maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, Michelle. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Yeah, so many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it. This is Michelle, and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Off the draw, here's Michelle. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. That was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you've got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. Now, after the full start, they need eight yards here on third down. Back to throw, Newton. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Sam Darnold leading the offense out for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. On first and ten, Darnold. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Arnold. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision, because they do have the final call now. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. A first down throw, Darnold. And oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, we know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one-handed catches off the machine in practice. They do it with their quarterbacks. They do it contested, uncontested. They make it part of their repertoire. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. To throw again on second down, Darnold. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Darnold to throw again. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Darnold from the gun. This to Arnold on the short pass. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end.
Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half throwing the football by Sam Darnold. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already. And that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. Taking it about the one. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey and he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. A shotgun snap for Darnold, and that will be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully
Here's the Panthers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And this is taken at the 23. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Patriots take over. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. Pressure comes in, he's brought down. It's a Panther sack. That's a corner that got in there for the sack. Dante Jackson. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Nine yards on the gain there, so he got half of it back, and it'll be third down. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Newton. This is White on the screen. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll run with Michelle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. And it's Michelle once again. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers, 26. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first down, Newton. 
Short pass caught by Henry. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the gun, here's Newton. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and it's third and short. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties, and he's able to knock that one away. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll turn to Michelle as they go back to the ground. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Fultz's kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back within 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. From the six. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Darnold on first down. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Dietrich Wise Jr. able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Darnold finds the open target, Arnold. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. 
They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Here's Darnold. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And that will get the lead up to 14. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Out of the gun, Newton. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. down here's white and he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46 yard line Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time look all any running back wants is a little bit of room a little bit of space in order to maneuver 
but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second down now, Michelle. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. New England on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. Operating from the gun. Newton, he's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. From the gun, Newton. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Newton on first down. That is caught at the seven. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing again is Newton. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. On second down, they'll run with White, and he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. 
And Folk's kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he remains perfect three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Oh, yeah. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Henry Anderson there on the stop. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Dante Hightower on the stop. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. From the 41, Darnold, his throw incomplete. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The Panthers on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. Back to throw, Darnold. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Here's the Panthers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they showed confidence in their defense by punting it away. Short pass caught by Henry. 
A gain of six there on first. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Newton. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. On first and ten, Newton. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Throwing again. Newton. Open man is Myers. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. New England on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and six. Newton throwing again. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To the air again, Newton. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down. Newton, and right side, Henry's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now a first down throw for Newton to Michelle on the screen. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Cam try to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Again, Newton. Yeah. 
Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. There he goes, left side. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Sly on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Patriots ready to get the football back. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, and now it's second and long. A shotgun snap for Newton. He'll drop it underneath to White. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Newton. Goes underneath here to White. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Newton. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Ready. 
On first down, it's Newton. Over the middle, complete. It's Henry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but yeah, I, but, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiple so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You That's get a game ball <laughs> and you get a game ball. Game balls for everybody. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.